And it's live. Welcome to our first ever Instagram. Hello. Nobody's here yet. <laughs> cool. Tough. Hi. They're coming. Yeah. Oh, we got a few people trickling in. Okay. What's up? Hello. Hi. Welcome to our live. Yeah, somewhere. Welcome to the live. Yeah. We're different. We chose to give you guys the best possible experience, so we gave you Clarkson's finest. I would tell you the name of this, <laughs> but I'll be giving away too many secrets. I actually don't Gotta keep it low key. Gotta keep it low key. Yeah. Gromance. Grumus. By uh, Galiha. You never know the art that's walking around. <laughs> you never know the talent. You really don't. No, no. Yeah. So. How many people are there? Uh, we got seven people right now. Seven people. Seven. All right. Oh, they're saying the painting's beautiful. Yeah, it's very. We beautiful. picked a good spot. That's what I thought too. Yeah. It gives me feelings. <laughs> <laughs> it gives me feelings. Okay. So I think we'll wait a few more minutes. See, see if some more people can come in, and cool. if anybody yeah, has any questions, we'll be able to answer those. Yeah, let me check my watch too. Oh yeah. 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 Time you got. Like, yeah. it's it's you know what I always wondered? Why is it when someone trying to tell a joke, they say, how about the airplane food? I've tried airplane food before. It's actually pretty decent. It's not terrible. It's, it's not, not terrible. Bad, oh, you know? Nice ginger ale, some cheese. It's not bad. I love ginger ale. Definitely my second I, favorite soda. I, I, I need it, yeah, yeah. What's your favorite soda? Root beer. So you're a soda drinker? No, I don't drink. I drink, like, water more than anything. Do you like to drink it on occasion? Like, yeah. once in a while? Once in a while. See, I like a root beer float. You float vanilla oh, ice, nice cream, ice cream, man. Of course, Just of course. delicious. It tops it all off. I think so. I think okay. So, too. Yeah. so I think we're going to go right about now. If anybody has any questions, you can get right into it. Okay. Otherwise, we'll... Talk a little bit about campus life and life at Clarkson. All right, that's what you guys are here for. Yeah, full on experience. Whatever you guys got, let us know. Yeah. So we don't have any questions yet. So is there anything that you'd like to cover? We can introduce ourselves. Oh yeah, that's great. So my name is Mike. My name is also Mike. So we're Mike and Mike. I'm squared. <laughs> yep. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm a junior. I'm a senior. Senior. We're both part of a exclusive team for Clarkson that is working extra hard to be able to give you guys the best content ever with authentic experiences. So, yeah. What's your major, Mike? That's a great question. My major is innovation and entrepreneurship, so I and E. That's crazy. That's my major. Is it really? Yeah. I actually did not know that. Yeah. Well, I thought you were a finance major. No, no, no. <laughs> no. Maybe finance vibes, you know? Do you think so? I can see yeah. you working on Wall Street. I hope not. Yeah. But maybe. Maybe. It's possible. It is very possible. Anything's possible at Clarkson. That's right. Defy convention. Mm -hmm. I have that tattooed on my arm. <laughs> <laughs> no, <I don't. laughs> but. Where are you guys from? I'm from New Jersey. I'm from uh, Syracuse, New York. It's like two and a half hours down. Yeah, he's kind of a local, you know. I consider myself a semi-local, you know, like six, seven hours. Oh, really? Like, really? Yeah, but I don't, I don't even think of it that's bad, you know. It's not terrible. There's some no. people from North Carolina who have to drive like 12, 14 hours. Insane. Shows you the dedication what people will do. Just oh, yeah. Here. I know people from Actually. like California that came to Clarkson. That's going to be a no that, for me. That's, that, that's, well, hey, you know, it's worth it. It's worth it. You exactly. Know? But, um. Dog Lover 2123 says that this is their favorite spot on campus. So do you want to tell everyone about where we are? Dog Lover 2123. Is that true? Because if it is, I'm glad you said it. <laughs> that's why we chose this spot. And we are currently in the ERC in this special quarter area that's what building no is it irc or erc 
ERC. It's the ERC. <laughs> we're, in the, we're in the second floor of the ERC around the video conference room. There's a lot of centers here. There's a, there's a lot of them. That's cool. So for me, one of my favorite spots on campus, those four in this lab are about to get some real secrets. I love going to the Clarkson basement for two reasons. Number one, there's a really, really, really nice bathroom down there, like fully like furnished. And there's also oh, I, believe oh. I believe it. <laughs> no, like yeah, actually, the like, it's, oh, yeah. it's gorgeous. Like they like they renovated and all that stuff. But also, there's a couch that's pretty comfortable down there. Nobody ever walks inside and out. It's very quiet. Definitely recommend it. Ten out of ten. Ooh, favorite spot. I'm more of a, I'm outdoors a lot. I feel like the uh, the the back forty hiking trails behind Clarkson. It's kind of on campus. It's yeah. It's it's campus. It counts as campus. I like the back forty trails. Um, it's nice to just go out and hike, like once a week or something like that. But I don't know. I think indoors. Yeah, I think I spend a lot of time in the student center, just doing work, getting food, and hanging out more than anywhere else. I feel like. Awesome. So we have a few more questions, actually. Okay, cool. Our that. friend Steph is asking what your favorite activity is to do on weekends. Ooh, that's a good one. I just gave mine away, so. Yeah, you did. Tough. I like to go to church on Sundays, but on Saturdays, I really like to spend time doing absolutely nothing. I'm low-key an introvert, so I like to just sit down, make myself a bowl of rice, plain, nothing in it watching some TV, and also gaming. I don't know, I feel like those moments in life where you're just by yourself, where you kind of just, excuse me, I'm sorry. Intrusions. Um, those are the best moments in life, especially having that me time, that well-deserved me time, especially after a long week. That really goes a long way. So that's one of my favorite pastimes. You can count it as a pastime. Okay, another question here, favorite professor? One, two, three. Patricia, Patricia Perrier. Perrier. <laughs> it's like, come on now, it's a given. Easy, easy yeah, next question. question. Like, <laughs> so, so what makes her your favorite professor and what classes does she teach? I'm not going to lie. It sounds a little biased, but she's the first professor, like all seriousness, when I took her MK320 class, she made it so engaging. I have never seen a professor connect with their students so well to the point where she actually accommodated our needs. I mean, there was some students in a class who hated raising their hands because just, it was really uncomfortable and kind of scary, right? Especially with a group of people that you don't know, that you have to participate to be able to get a good grade. She made it in which people who are a little more extroverted, they can be able to ask questions and still get participation points. And those who don't feel comfortable about raising their hand, they can just go on an online discussion post. We just thought it was really cool and she's a very just bubbly person. I mean, once you get to know her, it just, you wanna know more about her. And to be quite honest, she got me into a lot of different things. As much as I feel like she influenced me with my biking, she really loves Peloton. Peloton. If you know her, Peloton. she loves Peloton. So it's just really cool just to be able to meet such a wonderful soul with her and her husband, Gasper, too. It's like two peas in a pod. All right, uh, favorite, Oh, I, I already read that question. Ooh, on top of this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what internships or other opportunities have you gotten through Clarkson? Ooh, last summer, well, no, two summers ago, I worked at, I was, uh, I was working in supply chain before I was INE, uh, Innovation Entrepreneurship, and I was working at a uh, 5G um, antenna manufacturer in my hometown called JMA last summer. Uh, then I changed my major to innovation entrepreneurship, but then I actually went back to that same company in marketing instead of supply chain last summer. So that was a pretty good one. I'm pretty much guaranteed a job after college, which is nice. Um, I'm still looking for other jobs, of course. Got to, you yeah. know, got to branch out. Get the Clarkson, open. Clarkson opens a lot of doors. You got to yeah. look around, you know. But uh, what about you? Well, I'm not gonna lie. This past semester I was doing my professional experience with Patricia Perrier and a group of some pretty cool students 
working on the marketing for Clarkson and I'm not gonna lie, I definitely enjoyed going above and beyond my limits. Being part of a professional experience, especially here at Clarkson, there is a expectation of excellence, especially when you're talking to very high class students that definitely take their schoolwork very seriously. So working with them was honestly making me a better student in general and the internship in general uh, for the future, there's so many of them that the companies who come to Clarkson for the career fair offer students. I mean, this is just for the business side. And there's like IME, like our majors that have a lot of internships, but there's so many different companies that are offering opportunities for students who are willing to be able to just market themselves and really just reach them and connect with them. So it's all your stuff here. All right, it looks like Dog Lover yet again has another question. What are some of the benefits of being at a small school like Clarkson? Ooh, the benefits of being at a small school, I just think it's comfortable. You know, it's it's a small town, it's a quaint area. Um, you'll, you'll go through your classes for the most part with a lot of the same people, you know, build a lot of friendships, relationships. And, like, I forget the exact ratio, but the yeah. ratio of students to teachers is phenomenal. They're, like, they're, they have, teachers have time to help you professors work with you and they know everybody and you build relationships with your uh, professors as well and honestly i definitely think a small school is really ideal especially when you're trying to figure out this part of your life what you're going to do professionally and it's 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 great definitely definitely a good time at small school absolutely i used to really want to go to a big school like west virginia university but I'm so thankful to God that that did not happen. I mean, the amount of extra attention that I received being here at Clarkson with my advisor, with professors, and even making just such strong connections with different students, it means the world to me. And I feel like I would have, I don't feel like a number or a statistic, I feel at home and I feel well known by my community. It's, so intimate. Cool. it's, it's, yeah. it's an intimate community, yeah. yeah. All right, so, you already expressed how much you loved consumer behavior and Patricia Perrier, but what are some of your other favorite professors and classes? Hey. All of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, darn, I... I can start with you. Yeah, no, I, I got I to get the, the machine running. Professor Ormsby. I had yeah. Professor Ormsby for, I believe it was organizational behavior and maybe another class. I'm actually going to Australia through the business school with uh, Ormsby this summer. Um, hey, me too. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. I'll see you there. Yeah, we. Um, he's another teacher that really is just – him and uh, P uh, Patricia Perry are both – create just such a like comfortable environment in their classes people you just everybody feels like a person everybody's just pitching in and talking and like it's a discussion it's just the environment in classes are great like i know a lot of people at any school sometimes struggle to get to all their yeah. classes but it's nice when class is just talking class is just you know learning about people and just it's like open discussion it's, yeah, yeah it's just a discussion it's great you learn a lot and it's it's definitely Definitely great teacher. Absolutely. I figured out the professor that definitely made an impact on me when I first came to Clarkson, and that would be Mark Compa. Mm. His class, SP113, facilitated a love for just public speaking. I remember I would just pitch random ideas that were already created, but still, I was able to just have the stage <laughs> and just pitch whatever my little heart wanted to talk about. And I think that's really cool having professors that encourage you push you more importantly just challenge you to be the best version of yourself and i got that the minute i got on campus so that says a lot mark Campo definitely challenged me to be the best version yeah, of mark myself Campo is awesome. yeah. <laughs> yeah check out jake's uh, on the water though oh yeah great restaurant very good uh our friend steph asks what's your favorite building do you want to maybe give your top three favorite building a lot of time in Snell. Um, maybe 
Snell Student Center. What do you think? I don't know. I'm, trying to think. I'm gonna have to go with Snell just because I'm in there all the time with my so classes. My second would be the ERC because it's like a forum. All these different majors mixing in, the ERC, mingling, talking, the ERC, the computer, there it is. there's like Starbucks, there's stairs. That's why I waited everything. for my third one. That's yeah. why I waited. Yep. And also ERC. the gym, the IRC. So, Denica, the Denica gym, the old gym, not the new one, the old one. Not so, chill. I'm, I'm a classic man, you know what I mean? Like, I like the old stuff. Yeah. Why did you choose Clarkson? My sister went here, and I'm not gonna lie, I did not want her to come at first because I didn't understand what it really meant to be a Golden Knight. And I'm very blessed that the people that talked to me when I did come here for my visit, they just poured so much wisdom into my decision of going to university. And specifically, I was able to see off the bat that Clarkson definitely differentiates itself compared to other universities with our job placement rate. And on top of that too, with the elite programs that we have here compared to other colleges, especially in a place in Potsdam, New York, it really showed me that there's definitely something to be learned here. And that's why I chose Clarkson. Not even joking. My sister also went here. No <laughs> way. Really? And I also really wanted to do something different and not come to Clarkson after she did. But so cool. it really just, <laughs> it, yeah, it really it just, just, like, it just it, together. yeah, it just had everything I wanted. Um, their financial aid package was a big part of the decision. Yeah. Um, they were very generous. It was, uh, it, it worked out really well for me. Um, and I am definitely glad I came here. Yeah. Okay. And on a, on a side note, dog lover, two, one, two, three has more to say. Your outfit is awesome. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. I love the pants, dude. I, lo I love the pants. I try, you know. I mean, sometimes just wake up, throw on a pair of pants, and tell yourself, I'm wearing <laughs> These pants are the ones. I'm wearing the pants today. Always got to yeah. tell yourself you're wearing pants. Yeah, Absolutely. Thank you, dog lover. <laughs> yeah. uh, what if I don't know what I'm going to do at Clarkson? Can I choose my major late? Uh, I Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I... It's gonna kind of like really, really like what? No, I'm like yeah, duh. Like of course I like yeah me. I did not declare my major until this semester, and I'm a junior. That says a lot about myself, as I like to weigh out my options. But more importantly, Clarkson is not trying to like go get your major. They are so supportive in what you want to do. And you can switch your major if you want to go from ID to ENM or global supply chain, or if you're feeling up to it, being a finance major. But Clarkson cares about you, and they really want to give you an individual experience and facilitating who you are as a person. So the major, it will come to you. There's a reason why you chose to come to Clarkson, and that part is going to pour out when you're working in classes and in this environment. All right. And just a quick shout out to the Dean, Diego. He's in the chat. No way. So say hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> what? That's so crazy. Uh, our friend Steph asks, do we watch the hockey games? Oh, do we watch the hockey games? I get very aggressive at the time. <laughs> like not as like a, no, it's true. I get so, it just, you get so amped up, especially watching the girls and boys play hockey. I've never watched hockey at home, never really was much of a hockey fan from uh, New Jersey, you know, New Jersey Devils, New York Rangers. But when I came up here, it just, it gets exciting because you know the hockey players, like they're your friends or your close friends. And you get to see them kick butt on the ice. And we're a good hockey team. Like we are so good at hockey that it's like, it gets you pumped up when you're going to the game. It's not like, oh, we're gonna lose. It's like, we're about to win. And then when it gets to a shootout, that is where it gets real. Oh my gosh, like the overtime, insane. I think one of my favorite games this semester was the men's hockey when we went against Cornell. We were down by like three or four goals. Came back, tied, 
boom, overtime. And we win in overtime. It was crazy. But everybody went and seen it. I lost my voice that night. <laughs> and then the, the, the female hockey is even crazier too because they're so skilled and elegant when they're moving around on the ice. And it just, they know how to get the job done. So, yes, the hockey games are well worth it. Anything to add, Mike? I, I think you covered it. Yeah, right? Awesome. <laughs> yeah, that's no, so that's, there, it's definitely just, there's a lot of reasons to be excited for it, and there's a lot of reasons to enjoy it. It is, it is, it is different when you know the people on yeah. the ice, I feel like. I think, yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's, a, it's a good time. Awesome. Uh, Steph asks if it's easy to make friends. I think so. Didn't wasn't super hard. I don't think you kind of just everybody. You know, everybody's working together. Everybody's you know, like like we said, small campus, uh, community experience. You know, um, it it's pretty easy. You'll you're, you'll be good. There's so many programs too that Clarkson literally uses as a way for you to become a better student. But as a byproduct, you also make so many friends. Personally, when I came up here for my freshman year, I didn't know anybody, right? And I remember walking into Robro, which is our dining hall, and basically I talked to the main, he wasn't the manager, but like he was like very high up there. He was just checking in to see how Robro was going. And basically he gave me a free meal. Then I sat down, I started talking to an RA. His name was Meech. Then he was on a football club team and I was like, I should do football club. And then literally in a span of about 48 hours, I made like 20 or 30 friends. And I just got here from high school. So it's pretty crazy what can happen in a span of not even 48 hours, but literally a moment by moment basis when you're here at Clarkson. You never know who you're going to run into or who you're going to meet. Definitely not. I, uh, I came here with a couple of my buddies from high school. So when I got here, I knew those two people on my floor in Reynolds uh, then Reynolds is one of the freshman dorms where I was for my freshman year and you know moved into Reynolds I met my floor I met all the floors below me then we as an entire building all just kind of hung out with each other yeah. and then we all went our separate ways after freshman year yeah. so everybody settled into their own groups then those groups came together like it, it really is just a huge web of people yeah no it's uh, the Clarkson conglomerate yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. I like that yeah you know? yeah can you talk a little bit about the first year businesses? Where do I even start? First year, mm. the first year businesses. It takes you. It's, it just transforms you because you're given the opportunity. You are given the chance to pitch an idea to real investors. We're not talking monopoly money. We're not talking credits or whatnot. We're talking real money. I actually have a good friend of mine and she created her own business and she was funded. More importantly, when I created, uh, actually not myself personally, but my team for our SP113 class, when we created our business, what actually happened was we were able to pitch our ideas to actual investors and we didn't get it, but the experience itself felt like we were in Shark Tank. I don't know if you've ever seen that TV show before, but we watch it from um, a third person view, just watching everything going on between the sharks and the people who come in, but actually being the person who individually pitched the idea to the investors, that's an experience that I don't think anyone could really put into words other than it's spectacular. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's interesting doing the real work, you know, like it's <laughs> yeah, like it, it, it's it's strange. It feels like you're sort of unprepared and like uneasy about it. Then as you settle in, you're like, all right, I can put two and two together. You work with a team, you build something, whether you get funding or not, you still did the work and that's experience you'll have forever. Like my first year, I was designing an app. We didn't get funding for the app. But I learned so much about the development process. I'm working on one right now. Like, it's just, it's just, it's, it's interesting. It's a really, nothing can beat real world experience. And you just, you just get a lot of that here. Yeah. Awesome. It seems like Diego is happy to hear the shout out. <laughs> okay. Uh, also, it looks like Professor Ormsby joined. Ooh. We got the back to back wow. deed action. Wow. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 
Any clubs or organizations on campus you like? I am part of NSBE, which stands for National Society of Black Engineers. Of course, I'm not an engineer, but the club itself is really great, especially for the diversity and inclusion on campus and representation in particular. I mean, Clarkson definitely makes you feel welcomed and they're the club for literally everybody. More importantly, for myself, my favorite club, hands down, definitely the uh, CFC club, Christian club, right? And love going to that. Also, there's a gaming club too, which is pretty dope as well, because I'm a huge gamer. Love playing Smash Bros. So that's another thing, fun thing to do. But it's whatever you want. To be completely honest, it's whatever your tastes are. There's a club where they make a canoe out of concrete. I don't know how that works, but it's there. There's also a club for band. Even if you don't even play an instrument, you can just join the practices and rehearsals to listen to these awesome instrument players work together. There's also a theater club too. There was actually a play the other week called the Rocky Horror Show. And before that, there was an Aladdin play. Twisted. Twisted, yeah. Oh boy, it was twisted. It was, <laughs> <laughs> it was so twisted, but yeah. 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 Um, like I said, I'm a I'm a senior and I'm, you know, wrapping it up yeah. pretty soon. So uh I've been a little bit busy, but I've been um I was in a film club and Kuak the outing club because I like you know, like hiking and whatnot. Um those are the only two I've been in, so those are my favorites. I'm a little biased, but you know. Just a tad bit. Just, just a little tiny bit. bit, tiny ah, bit. Just a little bit. Tiny yeah. Bit. Uh, just Ducky and me asks: Does recruitment happen from companies outside of the New York area? Does Clarkson name carry nationally if I don't want to stay in New York after graduation? Absolutely. I actually was so funny. I forgot the company's name, but when I was going to the career fair, one of my friend's older brother, right? He's working in the New Jersey area, right? So outside of New York, and he came up here just to do recruitment, start talking to him, telling him from Allentown. He's like, I'm from Allentown. And I'm like, no way. He's like, yes way. We hit it off, found out that we actually kind of know each other. And it's just really cool because he's from New Jersey and I wouldn't expect him to come up to Potsdam, New York, to be able to find potential people to work for his company and so and whatnot. So yeah, there's definitely a name for Clarkson. We're very known for our ability to work under pressure and to do things that are filled with initiative, taking control and getting the job done. That's good, I like that. Yeah. Oh, oh, my take. Oh, oh I, I didn't know if you had a take or not. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, you know, same thing. I definitely, definitely known um, nationwide. Um, I was um, interviewing for a company that was nowhere near New York and I did end up turning down the opportunity because it was very far to move right after college but yeah 100 percent the career fair brings um, all sorts of companies um, a, a big thing we use or I use is LinkedIn and it's interesting to see where Clarkson alumni end up around the country and the, and the companies they end up in it's uh it's definitely definitely spans outside of New York State and I will quickly add in, uh, Clarkson is AACSB accredited, which means it's nationally and internationally accredited as a business school. So that alone will carry some weight on a resume. Uh, and personally, I was able to get an internship opportunity uh, from a company that is based very far from here in uh, Delaware. And most of the people that I'm working with are based in offices down south so you know wherever you're at you you will be able to find opportunities as long, clarkson allows you to apply yourself and the course projects that you take really prepare you for the real world okay i think we'll be wrapping it up in a few minutes if there's any last things you want to add or any very last minute questions i have a question for you mike what's your question mike so what is your favorite meal on campus <laughs> my favorite meal ooh um there is a nice little wrap station 
uh, in the student center. Tell me more. Um, I like to get a spinach wrap. Spinach. Spinach. Sorry, ready? Spinach wrap. Okay. All right, all right. Uh, turkey Tur and roast beef. Okay. All right. Then you get the uh, boom boom sauce. Boom boom sauce. Boom boom sauce. Is it gas? It's great. It's Ooh. awesome. It's awesome. Uh, that down. Lettuce, tomatoes, spinach, um, peppers, and that's it. That's the whole thing. Okay. Solid. It's a solid meal. Yeah, I'm like I'm a you know I could go for some. It's it's eat. everything you need. Every it's got everything you need. Sounds like it. Okay, we do have one question here. Oh, all right. Um, two actually. Ooh, uh, are the, okay, all right. Are there are there any opinions about the professors and atmosphere that you've say you'd emerge yourselves and that you can say you'll create throughout your careers? Actually, yes. There's a professor who teaches human resources named Rohan Crichton, Dr. Crichton. And I'll tell you what, I mean, it's hilarious. He said, look, we, we don't need to talk for like two or three years. You get a B or above in my class, B plus or above, I'll write your recommendation. He worked for the United Nations at one point. So for a professor to be so willing to do something like that, that's awesome. And I'm not gonna lie. When I communicate with the professors here, it doesn't seem like a, okay, like, hi, how are you doing? Like a robotic, formal thing. There is a warmth behind it. There is a relationship and I can definitely see myself being in communication with the professors here for a very long time, yeah. well after my graduation. You yeah. feel the same way? I, 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 was, I was hoping you weren't gonna say it all again, but you kind of did. Oh snap. 100%. percent i pulling it out. There's even professors here that really, I kind of just want to be like. <laughs> like, yeah. like there's just the, Actually, the, the way yeah. they carry a room, the way they make it a comfortable environment, especially if I go off and like start a company or something. A lot of professors I've had created an atmosphere that I would like to keep with me and like create myself in future business ventures. So yeah, it's well put. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, another question: Does the engineering and management major just with the business school or with the engineering school? So I'll just say something quick on that. So it is a major within the business school, but a lot of your courses are going to be taught by professors from not just the Ray School of Business, from, but from the School of Arts and Sciences and from the Coulter School of Engineering. Any other takes on e &M? Maybe you're some of your friends in the &M? I know that's a very high paying major and you get the best of both worlds. You get to understand the business aspect of a job, but also understand the engineering part too. So lots of math, a lot of different formulas, but more importantly, a lot of critical thinking. And I think it's really important, especially in this day and age, to be able to actually think outside the box and critically to the point where your ideas and your logic is able to make a difference in the company because of your human capital and what you have to bring to the table. Oh yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to think off the top of my head. Um, I'm not sure about my friends, but my, my sister who went to Clarkson, my sister Brianna, she was e and and uh, she, she's doing good. Yeah. <laughs> she, she, she's doing good for herself. She's, uh, I think, 26. I feel like I should know that. I yeah. feel like I should know that. <laughs> no, she's, she, no she's, she's 26. She's a, she's a plant manager right now. e and is phenomenal at the school. It's, it's, a, it's a big major. I, yeah. I, I, I almost did come for e and and I wanted to, but I ended up obviously shifting more to just the business side of things. Business calls. All right, so I think we have one last question, unless there's any last-minute things. Uh, from Five Cents, when do you guys like to take your classes? I'm not going to lie. This can sound so controversial. I'm becoming more of a morning person because of my coding class. And my 8 a.m.s, I'm embracing them full heart. Lots of love. Strong man. Strong man, right? The strong and, man. Um, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I mean, I used to be the person that like, I have to sleep in until twelve, but most of the world's like up, like six a.m. 
I mean, I'm trying to learn how to sell stocks and the stock market like opens up at like nine, nine thirty. So pre market at four thirty. Yeah, so I need to I need to be I need to be a morning bird, so Yeah. Yeah, I uh yeah. no matter when my classes are, I like to bunch them together. I don't like to have a lot of breaks between classes. I like to have them all in like a chunk of the day and then the rest of the day free. So Yeah, I like that too. Would you say you're as much of a morning person as other mic is? I don't want to talk about mornings. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I, I struggle to wake up. I am, I'm, get, I'm, I'm getting there. I, I, took a, yeah. you know, I took a page of the yearbook. I have a couple 8 a.m.s or 9 a.m. and 8 a.m. this year. Um, it gets easier. It's hard when you first get here. Absolutely. Like, yeah. Like, <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, you think 9 a.m. is pretty good your freshman year, but it starts yeah. to feel like an 8 a.m. Yeah. pretty quick. But, um, yeah, I... Uh, Definitely, I'm, I'm trying my best. I strive to be like you. Know, All right. All the morning birds. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So I think we'll be wrapping up real soon. Uh, any last minute things you want to say? I just want to thank our moderator for his excellent work on uh, holding the camera so still. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they did not shake at all. And I guess my last tips for those who are interested in Carson, I say dive in and do it. Just get your hands in and just watch what will happen. Honestly, you'll be surprised what would you be able to create. Yeah. Five say. Cents says thank you for answering the question. You're getting a bunch of thank yous. Okay. I would even say, even if you're not sure yet, just keep asking questions. Yeah. Keep checking out the events and talking to people. Get everything, you know, all the information you want to know. We're here to provide it for you. Um, I just want yeah, thanks for coming to the live. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time. Awesome. Great. Everyone's everyone's sending their best wishes and thank yous. So thank you, Mike and Mike. Michael. Michael. Awesome. Have a great one, everybody.